And welcome back with Let's Play Mega Man 2. I grew very old in the last day. Isn't it a shame? But I assure you, my reflexes uh, <coughs> are not just like they used to be. I promise. I promise. <coughs> nah, no, just kidding. I'm not kidding about the old part, I'm kidding about the thing where it seemed like I would pass out. I have no idea how well you can understand this. But, you know, in my day, we didn't have computer, we didn't have these video games. In fact, our TVs did not even have remotes. We had a little something called button. But before that, we didn't even have TV. We had radio. And I'll stop this now because it's starting to really get annoying and bad on my throat. Damn it. Stupid jump button react you. Anyway, Heat Man. Yes, Heat Man. Um, you know, I personally never really got this stage. Is in, I mean, damn it, stupid block. Well, first off, of course, there are those blocks which are a real pain in the neck. And then, what really is this stage? I mean, it looks like a sewer, kind of, you know. But, there's lava and fire and shit everywhere. What kind of sewer is this? Lava sewers? What, do, do people have lava coming out of their, you know, faucets? I don't get it. Oh well, who cares? I mean... There we go. Who care? Who really cares, though? I mean, it's 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 great stage, except for you know that part, which I'm currently at. Yes, this part. You see, normally you would follow the uh, block things like this. Pretty doing pretty decent actually. See, and I missed it there, and then you'd be screwed, especially if you're over the lava. But that doesn't matter. We have item number two, so just put on item number two. Make it appear. You can even you can even take the stop in between to grab the life. And with a full power, the uh, full power for the item two, you can get across perfectly. So, ah yes, those things. There we go. Just keep spamming your fire, and they should die. Explode. Not really die, they're robots. How do robot robots cannot die? Robots can only bre break down. Anyway, it doesn't matter, we're at Heat Man's. So let's see which weapon double lead, of course. It should take like three shots for him to die. And you shoot him with bubble lead. Ow. Although, remember that when you hit him he will charge forward like that, and you really should jump over him. Because as you could see right there, he does major damage that way. That way he should be able to kill you in three hits. So get your three hits in first. Anyway, that was Heat Man. Which means we get equipped with... Atomic Fire Burn. Oh yeah, we get a little message from Dr. Light. Yes, that's what I said, screen. Oh yeah, we now uh, yes, item one, of course, of course, item one. With item one, we shall do nothing until we reach Dr. Wily's castle. So, for now, it's just nice to have item one. Although maybe I'll use it for one thing or one or two things before that. Anyway, now that we have atomic fire, the weapon that can one-hit kill Woodman, we're going after Woodman. Here he is, Woodman, acting like he's Tarzan or a gorilla or something. Now we're at a we're at wood, so we can either burn it down or chop up some trees. So let's go for chopping. Chopping is more fun. Why am I picking up stuff? I don't. I'm not even hurt. Oh well. Could use that though. I mean, although. And yeah, that's another nice thing about the metal blades. I mean, 
they take virtually no ammo whatsoever. I mean, you can shoot four shots before you lose even one bar, one unit of weapon energy. So, you know, you can just jump on, jump on. Oh yeah, those wolf things. Those are really, really annoying, but they're not too hard, I mean. Watch out, jump, shoot, and fire away. That's pretty much the best trick, you know. Wait until they've breathed once, then jump... Oh, ow. Okay, wait until they've breathed once, jump over, and shoot them until they die. Explode, you know. I have to keep... S I have to stop saying that. Die, explode. Just like how I noted that during my previous LP, I used the word basically a hell of a lot. And when you think about it, that's kind of stupid. Anyway. The fun thing is, you know, um, with the uh, Power Blade LP, I didn't even go for a, a no-death run. I thought, I probably missed one jump, die there, I get really frustrated, you know. But no, in the end, I didn't die once, so I was like, hey, I might as well call it a no-death run. Kind of a lucky break, actually. I don't think that will happen to this game, though. I mean, I... I mean, it's not that hard of a game, but one slight misjump and or maybe being not careful enough, not using an energy tank when you actually should have used it, might ca might result in your death anyways. It's definitely not a no-hit run. I mean, I've been hit a lot. Though these things, it's really... Ow. Right. I never got that. I mean... The trick is, you know, to those, just stop moving as soon as you see them. But somehow, sometimes, I still mess it up. I get hit when they jump, and I don't get it why. Anyway, we've got the atomic fire equipped. And now we're facing Woodman. Who still acts as if he's, you know, a gorilla or Tarzan. Anyway, full charge, fire! And he's finished. See, one hit kill. Just fully charge your atomic fire and shoot. And that's pretty much all you will probably ever use your atomic fire for. Because all in all, it's a pretty useless weapon actually. Though not as useless as things like the leaf shield. I mean, you use most weapons. Um, there... Yeah, you really use most weapons. Um, Anyway, I'll, f I'll finish that train of thought um, in the next episode because I've run out of time. Although I don't know because I don't have a timer here. Maybe I should so I can know when I'm actually running out of time. But I've done what I would do. I w I don't know. I've done what I should have done in this episode. So we'll just call it an episode. Um, I'll see you guys next time with Let's Play Mega Man 2. This has been Zero's Got saying cake is delicious but also a lie. That means lies are delicious. <laughs>